Hey, Pedro Skulian here, and I'm founder and CEO of Fit Body Bootcamp. And today I want to talk to you about a long overdue video that I've been meaning to make, which is how to find the best fitness franchise model for yourself. Now, I should give you a full disclosure. I am the founder and CEO of Fit Body Bootcamp. So naturally, I have a vested interest in you looking into and considering getting on board with the Fit Body Bootcamp franchise. However, I've done a lot of research while creating our franchise model, and I wanted to share this with you if you're out there looking for the best fitness franchise model to get into. So here's some things you ought to look out for, and here's some things you ought to consider asking the franchisor before getting on board with them. Thing number one is, what is the buy-in fee? And what does the buy-in fee cover? Now, typically, every franchise has a buy-in fee, and that is a source of profit for them, and it's also a source of revenue for them to use for the deliverables they're going to give you in the get-go. For example, with us, we make you a customized website. We're gonna send you 14 DVDs in the mail, etc. We're going to do search engine optimization right off the bat. We're gonna have you on the phone with the business coach. And so all those costs do have to get covered. Now, the difference is, what is this franchise charging you? Because if it's charging you forty-five dollars to $85,000 to come on board, you've got to ask them what exactly does that cover. Thing number two to look at is the equipment that you're going to buy. Many franchises out there will ask you to buy the equipment through them, and when you buy the equipment to build out the franchise through them, there is a significant markup. And while I'm a big fan of free enterprise and everybody profiting, it's in your best interest to find out what the equipment cost is going to be in addition to the buy-in fee, and uh, what your limits are, whether you can shop outside for the best discount or if you're committed to purchasing that equipment from them. Thing number three to ask and look out for is what is my franchise royalty fees? Now, the standard practice out there is to charge between six and 8% of your gross monthly revenues, which again, depending on the service that they're offering and the support they're giving you as you're on board with them, that may be an awesome thing. But look at it this way. If your franchise is doing $20,000 a month after, let's say, a year or two of being open, and they're taking 6% of that, they're effectively getting paid $1,200 a month on the $20,000 a month that you're making. And as you grow your business to $30,000 a month, that 6% now translates to $1,500 a month. And so you have to ask yourself, am I getting the equivalent of 6% of my gross revenue each month of services, support, and help from the franchisor. Are they helping me grow or am I growing the business uh, myself and giving them a larger dollar round each month with that franchise fee? So consider finding a franchise that has a flat franchise fee of a flat dollar amount. Um, many people know this, I consider myself Fit Body Bootcamp as the anti-franchise franchise. We have a flat franchise fee that's uh, very fair and we make our money on the back end when we help our franchise owners get more clients. I believe that's the proper business model. Uh, your opinion might differ. The fourth thing that you're going to want to look at is how long is the term of this franchise? Now again, standard practice out there is as much as 10 year commitment to a franchise, which is okay. You know, there's plenty of franchises out there, Subway comes to mind, McDonald's comes to mind. Now, if you're not comfortable with the track record of that franchise, they haven't been around long enough, they're not a big national brand yet, um, you may not want to consider signing an eight or 10 or even 20 year franchise agreement with them, right? So that's something you definitely ought to look out for as well. And of course, the fifth and final thing you ought to consider when looking for a good fitness franchise model to be a part of is what is the level of coaching and support they give you. As a business owner, your problems are going to always change. When you first get on board with the franchise, the number one problem you're going to have is finding a location and negotiating your lease for that location. As you grow, you're going to have probably marketing and sales problems, right? All good problems to have, good challenges to have. But if you have the support from the franchisor in helping you negotiate the lease and guiding you in the size of location you're looking for, the demographics to open up in, you're gonna have a greater success rate from the get-go. And so as you get into your location and as you grow your location, you're probably going to need more staff. Is the franchisor able and capable of helping you to hire and train those 
actual employees who are going to help you out in automating your business so that you can actually take some time off. Because the last thing you want to do is be a hostage to your business model where you're literally working 60 to 80 hours a week just to keep it running. Uh, I've seen plenty of people who own franchises out there uh, and as I've talked to them, we've come to realize that they'd be better off uh, having a high paying job uh, where they can have more time off than owning their franchise. And think about this, as that franchise location of yours grows and you're ready for a second and third location, you want to have multiple outlets. Is the franchisor able to coach you, consult you, guide you, and help you in developing systems, processes, and automation so that you can grow to location two, three, and four? If those things are not there, consider looking elsewhere. And those are some of the top five, I guess, red flags that I would share with you when you're looking for a franchise business model, especially in the fitness industry, to go into. Now, of course, if you have any questions for me, if there's any support that I could give you, you can reach out to me by going to our website, which is down below in our description box. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.